you are supposed to uh, find out how to actually do it. Like, hey, this is the case, right? Okay, this guy, I just want to start this way, so you're not helping me out of the situation. That's why everything's going to be done, actually. We all need to have a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit Hey, hey, welcome back to Reality Mail. Yes, this is the first time again, right? And then it's been a long time actually I didn't even show my face. And at the same time, just like I said in the last day before, I want to do something special now because today is my YouTube channel birthday. It's the birthday so I want to do something different. And that is, I think I want to make something like, you know, like top 7, top 10 or something like that. So I think. Since there are a lot of video after this, so I think I'm gonna upload it in the 27 and also in the 28. Okay, for this episode, I want to tell about the top seven, the hardest video episode that I already picked before. This is hard. This is hard. I mean, yeah, I just, I just want to tell actually, you know, like you know, not all video that I already take is smooth. That you know, like there are no problems or like that actually. That that just. I mean, if you see my video, you know that, oh, some of this video, like, it's so smooth, actually, like, I don't have a problem to upload that, but, there are problems actually a lot in there, so I want to tell about that, so, so, maybe, so I think this video is gonna be, like, full of, like, you know, like, anger thingy that I want, that I already hold before, and I want to release right now, so, I'm sorry if I said something, uh, uh, bad or wrong word after, after this, so I want to say I'm sorry. This is the top 7 of the hardest video or episode I already take before. Again, uh, with the rules of it, I don't want to talk about the Basara game and also with the Cut Tail. I want to talk about uh, from the Pokemon Master EX to the Pokemon Black because, you know, there are a lot of videos actually that I already upload. There are more than 1000, so I think to make it much more shorter, I want to tell about uh, from the Pokemon Master EX to the Pokemon Black only. I want to talk about the Basara and Cartel in the next year, not now. Let's just start it. The number seven is okay. The number seven is goes to the Tomba Two, and that is this Turbo Trolley, fast, fast Turbo Trolley episode. This is truly hard, actually, I can say because first and first, you need to know that a no way you can clear, uh, you cannot clear this. Uh, mini game with just like you know two times at least you need three times actually to clear everything because uh, you need to defeat uh, the two time limit and also you need also need to uh, collect all the string of seed like and that is all over the place actually especially the number fifth the number fifth string of seed is super far and you can get that when you are in the high speed you need to take it slow so this is hard. Yeah, I think the uh, actually they are more harder actually more than the Tomba uh, two and that is this trolley one and that is the Pujara episode. But I think it's not fair actually because in that episode I just cleared the level ten only actually, which is it's not true, right? If you play that game, you know that you need to clear like more than uh, ten level actually. There are ten level, so you need to watch every Pujara. So it's much more harder actually more than this trolley, but. I just cleared the level 10 only because if you know about my uh, problem at that time, there are some problems happening actually, so uh, and that makes my video is gone actually, so that's why I, re I need to do redo it again. That's why it happened also with uh, Pokemon Heart Gold because at that time I played Pokemon Heart Gold and Tomba at the same time, and there are one episode that is lost, and that is the Kujara episode. Do you really need more than a couple minutes definitely to clear this? mini game because the price you can get in here is pretty good actually in kind of impacting in the very last adventure so you need to clear this mini game yeah the number seven is goes to the fast 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 turbo trolley episode 4 tomba 2 evil swine return yeah this is bad actually i can say you know this is really bad i think i waste like more than one hour to just clear this episode actually this uh, trolley trolley thingy because just like I said ain't no way you can clear this in just like two times no way ain't no way I want to admit actually I don't think they are something like that because there are a lot of things you can I uh, need to do actually inside that so it's hard okay let's go to the number six okay the number six is goes to the SpongeBob SquarePants uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom but the old version, this is the episode number 20. This is nightmare actually, I can say, you know. 
again with the last time, uh, uh, the number, again with the number 7 tool, ain't no way you can clear this track with just like, you know, like, uh, two times try or something like that. I think it's just such a pro actually if you can do that. Because, you know, I think the problem about this is that you cannot even predict, uh, where this, I don't know what this is, green track thingy gonna go actually. So that's the bad one. And also, there are also a fox that is in the other side. So you really need like, if you are pro, I think you uh, if you are pro, you really uh, you definitely need two times at least to clear this whole battle track to get the golden spatula and also with the stock. But again, this is pretty hard actually for me. That's so I do believe this is also what the outdoor game think actually because. This track is changed actually. Yeah, this, uh, if you play that game also, you know that this is the only thing that uh, the game developed changed actually from overall from the old version, that, and that is this one. So I do believe it means that the game developed also know that this track is really nightmare and so hard actually to clear. That's why they changed it in the Sponge of Square Pants Battle for Bikini Bottom, the rehydrated version. Yeah, the number 6 is goes to the Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom, the old version, in the episode 20. Yeah, in the episode 20 is such a problem actually, I can say. I was like, oh god, that's really annoying actually. I do remember when I played that game in the first time. Uh, I don't have a problem actually because, well, that's the kid's power, I can say. But when I played again uh, last time, like, oh my god, it's so hard. I wasted a lot of time actually to just clear that track and get everything in it. So again, I think this is like wasting a lot of more time actually, like one, maybe like one hour again for just clearing this episode, so. Okay, let's go to the number 5. Okay, the number 5 is goes to this Defeat 7 Demon Lord plus God, uh, episode number 38, Digimon World uh, DS. This, <laughs> actually, this is really bad actually though, this is really bad. Because uh, this is kind of unexpected actually to me, so. I don't expect it will be this actually, you know. This is really hard because I don't know it will be, uh, you know, they still continue. And then when you see in the last room, and that is to fit the seven demon lord, this is much more, much, much, much more, more harder actually, more than I thought actually. Because, you know, uh, I don't expect it will be this powerful actually. I mean, like, we already defeated this deal before, but it's not this, uh, this but. It's pretty easy actually to defeat them actually uh, if you watch the other episode. But in the last room, and which is this one, their power is super changing actually. It's super powerful, and also this is also continuing from the last episode too actually. So, what if this episode has 40 minutes, and the last time is also 20 minutes around? It means if you can. Uh, uh, answer it, it's more than one hour actually for me to clear this uh, two episodes actually because I don't know it will be this long and then defeat this demon lord is also not easy actually I try many times actually especially since my potion is already running out I really like you know like save lot save lot a, a lot actually for this episode so this is such a nightmare actually yeah, the number 5 is goes to the Defeat 7 Demon Lord plus God in the episode 38 in Digimon World DS. This is truly hard actually. I do remember, uh, well, I do I do remember clearly actually. I cleared that episode along with the episode in the episode 37, like 1 hour 44 minutes. I do remember, I still remember up until now. And then, I do remember my elbow is so hurt actually because I, uh, I play the game like this actually, so my left uh, elbow is really hurt because again, I don't know it's gonna be that long, so I suffer uh, paralyzed actually after that because yeah, I mean 1 hour 44 minutes, do you understand what I meant? It's so long and then my elbow is holding my overall weight actually with just one elbow, so it's really, I don't remember that, like, oh my god, that's so nightmare, so I don't want to actually happen again. Okay. Let's go to number 4! And the number 4 is goes to the Dibuang Sayang Kebodohan Baru Hasil Rekam bu Buat Kue Satu Tangan Tengah Malam Demi Ulang Tahun This episode is really bad actually I can say 
just like its name, Dibuang Sayang, or if we translate it, it will turn out to be like, you know, it's such a waste if I throw it off actually, which is this video that I meant. Because this video is more harder, more than I thought actually. I really want to make something like a, uh, you know, I can, I used to make a dessert thing actually, even though I don't have oven. But since it's my birthday at that time, I really want to do something that is different more than the something that I already do actually. I used to, I used to uh, cook something like a pudding and thing actually. So I think this time I want to make something that like complicated actually that is, you know, really hard. Uh, something like uh, you know, like a jar thingy version, but I make it in the bowl, mini bowl actually, such a small bowl. But this is much more harder actually because at that time I don't have something like a. Since I do this alone, it's so hard actually for me to cook and then save and then edit everything all by myself. With uh, and then the problem is that I need to do it with just one hand actually. So my right hand is. Uh, so my right hand is do the job, like you know, chopping, cooking, and everything. My left arm is recording the progress. So, as you can see in the video, like it's so awkward actually. I put the uh, the coconut milk all over the place. I cut the banana really poorly. It's so bad actually. And even the overall dish is overcooked actually. So that's why it turned out dense. Even though that my plan is already good actually, I make I want to make nagasari actually, which is Indonesian dish. Nagasari is basically two times cook. So first and first you need to cook it and then you need to steam it in the uh, in the last one. But I don't want to steam it because I think that it's the overall dish is getting dense actually because I want to make a ball. I want to make this like so that's why my plan originally is just cook one time only actually. That's why I put the flour. It takes couple of days actually for me to eat the whole thing yeah the number four is close to the diwang sayang uh the birthday uh video that i already made last year actually this is so bad actually actually i don't want to upload that actually the first uh place but then i think i think it's gonna be okay if i upload it because you know it will be some memories actually in the future like oh i done something stupid so <laughs> And that's happened. So yeah, I do remember about that. I do remember I uh, record that. Just like I said in the video, actually, I do uh, record that in the midnight, actually, like uh, zero e zero em thirty seconds at that time. Uh, and I'm I'm uh, everything is already done until uh, until uh, one am half. I do believe yes. So it's like one hour actually I'm in the kitchen. Re uh, and it's so trouble actually like oh god okay let's go to number three okay the number third is goes to this all golem pokemon location from pokemon omega ruby well no, that i already played before this, <laughs> this episode is really bad actually i can say you know maybe if you see the episode when i touch uh reggie eyes it's smooth as Ice. I don't know, you know, this is so smooth actually. I truly uh, succeed in just one strike actually, but the other Reggie Rock and Reggie Steel is such a nightmare actually, I can say. This is wasting a lot of my time actually. I mean, you know, if you realize my timing, uh, this is truly waste a lot of time actually, you know, more than uh, you think if you do realize. I mean, if you do realize when I cut. When I save the progress, when I battle against the Raggy Rock, is uh is 9 p.m. 13 minutes. But when you see the Raggy still save data, you do realize that it was 9 p.m. uh 53. Yes. So you can suggest how long for me to def uh, to capture just one rock a uh, Raggy Rock, and Raggy still is also hard actually. I think I was uh, I truly success this until like uh, uh, 10 p.m. 30 minutes maybe. So it truly was a lot of time actually to just capture this Raggy Rock and Raggy Steel. Yeah, I, I know that this is basically based on luck, but <laughs> this is the worst actually. 
Unit number three goes to the All Golem Pokemon location. This is from the Pokemon Ome uh, Omega Ruby. Yeah. Okay. Just like I tell in the video too that this is long actually to capture Reggie Red and Reggie Steel. So this is bad actually I can say. I mean yeah, I know this is based on luck actually, but I don't know, it just luck is not in my side actually at that time. So I do remember I really wasting a lot of time, like two hours maybe, just like I saw in the video. So oh god, that's truly nightmare actually I can say. Okay, let's go to number two. The number second is goes to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses Destiny Draw Rule and Summoning 4 Ritual <laughs> in episode 20. This is hard actually I can say, you know, because uh, the problem is the ritual actually. The Destiny Draw actually is also hard, but I think I can do it because the Destiny Draw is basically you need a bigger uh, leader bigger uh, rank leader and at the same time your health point is in the bad situation and it's gapping actually with the enemy so it's also pretty tricky actually I can say but I think the, the main but the main problem is the summoning for ritual I mean this is not like the old I mean you need to know that this is old version of Yu-Gi-Oh you know Yu-Gi-Oh Willis of the Roses is like game that is already appeared in 2001 this is really long actually so the rule is still like old rule actually. So I mean you know if you play Yu-Gi-Oh game we know that the rule is a bit different right from the old version one. So like you know you cannot summon a card that is more than four star. You need a sacrifice. Uh, you need to sacrifice for that right. But this one you can summon whatever you want actually. But this is something like attack version one. But the problem about is that I mean the reason. Yu-Gi-Oh ritual is much more easier actually to per to perform a ritual as long you already as long the ritual card is already appear you'll be fine all you need to do is just find the monster card and reach to the star what it needs but this one is a bit different if you want to perform a ritual card in this game you uh, game is need three sacri uh, sacrifice monster actually to perform a ritual card that certain uh, some of the ritual card is a bit hard actually to play because they need some certain type and name card actually for you to perform a ritual card. For example, if you have an ultimate ritual card, you need three of the blue eyes ultimate uh, blue eyes white dragon, right? So it's something like that. The problem is that if you perform if you're trying to perform a uh, three ritual card it's easy actually but four ritual is almost impossible but there are some ways actually to do that and that is you need uh, some card that can be yours because we know that Yu-Gi-Oh game basically have uh, you know we just have like five monster in our field actually but since they need three sacrifice and we want to make a four ritual card at the same time you need one card and that is change of heart with the change of heart you have one turn to make the enemy card is belong to you actually just one turn so you really need to make sure that you hit the right card and at the same time you hit in the right timing also because without the change of heart we cannot perform four ritual card at the same time Maximum is three, so this is almost imp uh, this is mission impossible. Actually, I can say. Yeah, the number two is goes to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Rosas Destiny Draw Rule and uh, performing four ritual card. It's so bad, actually. I can say. I do remember that video a lot. Uh, still up until now, actually, even though that video is already long, right? I mean, like I think it's like two years ago. That video is truly long actually like, uh, for me to take that actually because the mission is almost impossible like I say. I do remember, I mean, for your information, I never play a game that long actually. I just like, you know, maybe like 3 hours is the maximum actually. Just That's the maximum I can play a game. So, and then I always put my timing in there. Uh, and I always put my timing actually in everything. For example, I just play a game 3 times, uh, 3 hours. And then after that, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. But out, uh, outside the game. So when I play this one, it's out from the target actually. It's out from the uh, three hours. So I need to redo. I need to 
do it again in the next day. I still remember actually that. So it's really nightmare actually. At the same time, and I do realize too that I'm still doing my tests actually at the time like that. So can you believe the daytime I'm doing my tests in the nighttime I redo it. Uh, I do this episode, but I feel I do it again in the next day. So it's so chaos actually. I can say about that. I still remember about that. Okay, let's go to number one. Yeah, the number one is goes to the Lugu personal item, and it and that is the yeah the number one is goes to the Lugu's personal item, uh, treasure mission in the water or of chain. This is this is hard. This is hard. I don't know. I don't know. I want to meet with the person that who can clear this but uh, this mission actually to be honest. I really want to meet them. To be honest, I really want to meet them because this is. Mission Impossible actually I can say it. Well actually, there are some ways. There are some ways. And that is, you need to play with your friends. That is the way to get this personal mission, uh, this personal item. This personal item is really crazy. Basically, you need to reach 1000 KO count with Lubu only. And that is under 9 minutes in this battlefield. So this is hard actually I can say you know. Well the recommendation is you play in the hardest uh, hard to the chaos difficulties because in that difficulties the enemy troop is so crowded so the chance for you to reach 1000 KO is much more bigger actually more than if you play in the normal or easy difficulties. But the problem is this is really hard you know. I cannot even clear it actually. This is the first mission that I cannot clear it. I need to do something and that is the cheat. This is, I mean, I told you in the uh, in the game also actually that I cannot do the battlefield mission. So that's why I need, uh, and I need to do the cheat. And I also was uh, telling you what cheat that I use at that episode also because this is mission impossible to me. Maybe if you have a friend that, you know, that can play with you, maybe you can clear this battlefield mission actually. Because uh, if you play with two, uh, two players, the KO will be uh, combined. So in the end, I need to do the cheat. Yeah, the number one is goes to the Lubu's personal item uh, treasure mission. This is coming from the Warrior Orochi one. Warrior Orochi one is such a uh, weird actually. I can say that they put the mission or something like that, but they didn't even put the mission name or you know the list how to get the personal item or the gallery actually in the game actually so we never know actually like what is this mission something like that and then this mission is super hard so it's almost impossible actually but that's why this is the first time i cannot clear it actually to be honest so it's just bad actually this is bad this is like oh my god i don't i mean i still want to know actually is there someone that can clear this like really one thousand nine minutes I, okay, that is the uh, top 7 of the hardest video. I think I'm gonna put the number 8, 9, and 10 in the list after this. And also the overall result. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.